Hi, I'm Andrea Martinez. And I'm Seth Martinez. And, and you're, you're watching, watching In, In the, the News, News at CHS. CHS. Hey Toads, have you guys heard about the career fair where students get a chance to look at booths and get to know more about colleges? Well, that's happening tomorrow, November 20. Here's Chief Stewart with more information. Hi, I'm Chief Stewart with the News at CHS and I'm here with... Mr. Salazar. Uh, when is the College and Career Fair? So the College and Career Fair will be tomorrow from second period until fifth period. Uh, what can we expect uh, at the College and Career Fair? So we got about 30 different companies and vendors coming out, everything from banks, colleges, um, Marines, Navy, and other ROP classes, CT classes, and clubs. And uh, where will the College and Career Fair be? So the College and Career Fair will begin in the hub, and it will also be where the buses pick you up. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Chase. Last week, CHS hosted a lively Loteria night where family gathered for a fun evening of games, delicious food from a taco truck, and refreshing drinks. Our food reporter, Aureliano Gondinas, was there to capture the moment and for a special night. Let's take a look. What's up, guys? It's your boy Aureliano Gondinas from In the News at CHS. And we're over here, and we're going to get some tacos. Estos tacos van a estar buenísimos. Ya se los digo. Thank you. All right, guys, it's time to put our condiments on the tacos. So first, you add the onions. Now, you gotta get the cilantro. Now, you ignore the coleslaw. You get some um, lemon. Okay, now, um, we get some guacamole. Now we grab the nachos and we ignore these two things because they're not Mexican. Now, we have the perfect tacos. So, Ms. Cardenas, why did you organize this event? Our goal is, well, we're collaborating with community schools, and our goal is to get the community and families together. So we plan these activities to bring everyone together. Oh, cool. And is there going to be another Loteria Night next year? Uh, that is our goal. We hope that we will plan this for next year as well. Great. De regreso a ustedes en el estudio. Thanks, Arveliano. In a quiet town where the biggest events were football games and big sales. It wasn't every day, a mystery unfolded. But on this Monday, as students returned to school, they discovered things at the FFA farm were anything but ordinary. This is Chicken Alfreda, the prized hen of the school's FFA program. Her daily eggs helped fund the students' ambitions she was more than a project. She was a feathered friend. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. She was alive when I came here to feed. And she was clucking like usual. I just don't know what happened. But fine would turn to fear. Later that afternoon, when another student checked on Alfreda, they weren't met with the usual clucks and coos. Alfreda was gone. Well, most of her. Her body was found, decapitated. The head was missing, and what remained was a sight few would ever forget. We just don't have any leads. Makes you wonder. This wasn't just any chicken, so it makes you wonder who or what could have done it. A gruesome mystery, right here on the farm. But who, or what, took chicken Alfreda? And would they strike again? Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and many of us are looking forward to spending some time off. Let's check in with our fellow toads to see how they will be spending their break. 
Here's Jose Luis with the details. What will you be doing during this Thanksgiving break? I will be celebrating one of my friend's birthdays. I'm going shopping and eating a lot. And what is that friend's name? Valenies! I'm just gonna like relax and play Roblox Bingo and then hang out with my family and stuff. I'm also gonna be playing uh, baseball for my travel team. I'm gonna hang out with my friends. I'm actually hosting Thanksgiving, so I am getting all the food and cooking everything. <laughs> and then I'll play with my baby, Eli. <laughs> I'll be sleeping and being with my family. Uh, I'm going to spend time with my family. <laughs> I'm doing a Friendsgiving. <laughs> I'm also having a Friendsgiving. Um, I'm gonna be with my family. Um, I'm going to visit family out of town. I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, I'm going to my grandmother's house and we're um, celebrating. I'm eating like a lot of food. Eating. I'm um, just spending time at home with my family. I'm going to the snow. I'm gonna spend time with my family. Um, probably go to like a Thanksgiving party or something. Thanks, Jose Luis. Students in Mr. Sarah's class recently engaged in a hands-on learning experience by dissecting squid with their safety gear on. They gathered around to explore these amazing marine creatures. Our food reporter, Valen Yanis, has more on this unique classroom activity. Hi, I'm Valen Yang is in the news at CHS, and I'm here with Santiago Garcia. And Santi, how was your experience dissecting the squid? Uh, honestly, I really like um, dissecting the squid this time. Um, we did um, a dissection during sophomore year for the frog, and I think both times was like pretty cool. What was the most interesting fact you learned while dissecting the squid? Um, again, I think the siphon was one of the most interesting things uh, to learn about the, uh, the squid. Uh, but also the fact that they have three hearts and each of the gills that they use to breathe uh, have, each one has uh, a heart. Thank you, that was Santiago. I'm here with Luis Guillen. And Luis, what was your favorite part about the dissection? My favorite part about, about the dissection was probably like getting to show the kids like the ink sack and all, because you know, they were all excited. And how was it being able to teach the kids? I said it was pretty well, you know, they're really excited about um, learning about the squids and how they work and what, what organ does what function. I say the whole thing pretty well. Thank you. That was Luis. Thanks, Valen. Last Wednesday, our toads had the opportunity to visit UC Santa Cruz, home of the banana slugs. They explored the incredible campus, taking in stunning sights, such as the towering redwood forests and beautiful coastline. The day wrapped up with some fun at the iconic Santa Cruz boardwalk. Here's Alejandro Salas with more on their adventure. <laughs> with the CHS and today I'm here with C. Mendoza and Kaylee Rivera. So did you guys enjoy the trip? Yes, I did. Yeah, it's fun. What was your favorite part of the trip? Um, probably coming to the beach and eating my food. Yeah, the beach. Thanks, Alejandro. And now, let's go to Sofia Quinones with this week's Horn Toad Highlights. Thanks, Seth. Our toads have been crushing it in more ways than one, from spectacular football performances to the trails in cross country. Speaking of, cross country is going to their league tournament this Thursday. Good luck, toads. That is just one of the many exciting things happening this week. Toads Wrestling is starting up with the home duel against the Golden Bears on Wednesday. We sent field reporter Chase Stewart to get the inside scoop on the team. Hi, I'm Chase Stewart here with In the News at THS, and I'm here with Eric Martinez, and I'm a senior. I'm here with Abriana hey, Hernandez. Eric, how is the team feeling going into Wednesday's duel? Um, everybody's been pushing each other, so very motivating, and everybody's just been breaking the sweat this whole two months, and I think they're doing good. Thanks. Uh, how does the girls' team feel going into the wrestling match? 
Um, we feel good. I feel like, you know, we're getting our skill up, we're getting conditioning. Um, I feel like we're all definitely improving. And how do you feel going into the match this Wednesday? Um, I feel confident. Um, I feel like I've definitely been working on honing my skills and making sure I'm conditioned and just overall just making sure I have fun. Thanks. And uh, Eric, how do you feel going into Wednesday's duel? I feel I feel ready. I'm, I've been working these past two months. I'm hoping that I get the win and yeah. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Chase. Make sure to go come support our toes this Wednesday. Varsity Girls starts at 6.30, Boys starts at 7.15. Probably the most exciting thing to happen last week is our Toads football landing a spot in the semifinals after beating Chowchilla 35-7. On Friday, it seems like our Toads are on a roll. We sent field reporter Sylvia Rios to check out the game. I'm with Julius Borjas. So Julius, how do you feel going into round three of playoff? Uh, I feel good, you know, I feel like our team really got this and um, I feel like our chemistry is really good. So yeah, I feel like we, we'll do good, we'll do good. And how do you feel about your individual performance tonight? Um, I feel like I did good, you know, I did some mistakes, but you know, during practice, got to fix them and then, you know, work on it. And what do you think was one of the team's key attributes into winning tonight? Um, I think it's just the communication and just like the connection that we all have, like coming together and just, you know, performing to what we got to do, you know, so yeah. Thank you. And that was Julius. Hi, I'm with Mr. Peace, our varsity football coach. So, Mr. Peace, how do you feel going into round three of playoffs? I feel great! You guys better show up and let's do it! Go Toad! Thanks, Sylvia. Senior quarterback Noah Tossi broke a school record of 8,107 passing yards. We had reporter Sylvia Rios talk to Tossi about it. Hi, I'm Sylvia Rios, and today we're joined by an outstanding student athlete who has just etched his name in our school's history books. Quarterback Noah Tossi surpassed our school's record for passing yards, reaching a remarkable 8,107 yards. He threw 134 yards and two touchdowns, further solidifying his legacy as one of CHS's top quarterbacks. Noah, congratulations on this achievement. How does it feel to break such a remarkable record? Uh, it feels good. Uh, a, lot of hard, a lot of hard work, for sure. And was passing this record something that you had planned throughout the season, or just a natural outcome of your hard work? Um, kind of a little bit of both going to it. I, I mean, I broke it last year again or my, for my single season, but I didn't know what the career one was. So I definitely was looking forward to like doing that. But it's definitely just a result of all the hours put in. And as quarterback, you're often put under a lot of stressful and difficult situations. How do you keep calm under situations like these? Uh, I, just, I pray a lot. I lean on God because I know that I can't do it by myself. And there's only so much I can do. And so when did you realize football was your sport? Uh, honestly, I've kind of had like a love-hate relationship with football. Uh, I stopped playing because my dad kind of forced me to play. But then when he didn't force me to play, I ended up finding a new love for it. And ever since then, I came back eighth grade year and I've been playing all my four years of high school. Who would you say is your biggest inspiration in football? Uh, I definitely have a couple, but uh, one of them has to for sure be my cousin, Tua Tagovailoa. He's actually the quarterback for the Miami, the Miami Dolphins right now. And what do you plan to do after high school? 
Definitely plan on playing football after high school and you know, going to college, but uh, just still waiting to see if uh, anybody will offer me. Thank you, and that was Noah. Thanks, Sylvia. That's all for Toad Sports. Now back to you. Thanks, Sophia. And thanks for watching. And remember, if it's important, it's, it's in, in the, the news, news at CHS. CHS.